Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing well. I know it's been so long we didn't had a learning session. So I would like to inform everyone uh, there will be some changes which will be effective from um, the month of April on this year. I have already mentioned regarding these changes on my previous videos. So those who are preparing for the exams from March or from the month of April, I wish you all the best and I recommend you to prepare thoroughly, practice as much as questions uh, possible and I wish you all the best, do well, I hope all of you will be make it. So we'll start from our today's session. A client is being discharged after receiving an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Which statement by the client indicates that teaching has been effective? So it is a very simple question and the question is uh, looking for a positive statement or the answer would be a positive statement because uh, here it's asked if the client understand or which statement made by the client indicates as an effective which means the client know what are the instructions given by the doctor or the nurse then they will be giving a correct answer so that would be our answer. So we will see the options one by one. The first option, I am not worried about the device firing now because I know it won't hurt. Option two, I will let my daughter fix my hair until my HCP says I can do it. Option three, I will look into public transportation because I won't be able to drive again. Option four, I will notify my travel agent that I can no longer travel by plane. Okay, so out of this four option, what do you think which could be the right answer or which could be the right instruction trying to understand? Okay, we'll see the option one. I'm not worried about the device firing now because I know it won't hurt. What do you think? Do you think the ICD it will not hurt? Actually, it will hurt. A client uh, may say it, it's, it's painful and they may describe it as like uh, a blot to the chest. So the option one it says here it won't hurt. No, actually it will hurt. It is not that much painful but they can feel that uh, as a blow and it's painful. So option one we can remove that is a wrong statement. If client would make this option which means that they did not understand the instructions given by the nurse. Okay, we'll see the next option. Option 4, we will see. I will notify my travel agent that I can no longer travel by plane. Hmm, is it? I don't think so. The client, those who have pacemaker or those who have implantable cardioverter defibrillator, they can travel by plane. Actually, they can travel by plane. It will not restrict them by uh, traveling by plane. Only the thing, uh, they should have a band which indicates that they have the like a pacemaker or in a defibrillator and they should have a list of medication that they have been taken so those things they should carry with them that will uh, keep them will be safe if something would occur like unusual okay so that's also a wrong statement if the client would made that statement which indicates that client did not understand the post-operative management of a like implantable defibrillator, cardioverter cardio defibrillator. And what is the next option? Okay, option three says I will look into public transportation because I won't be able to drive again. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. The client they can drive again. Only the thing, uh, if they have uh, like unusual rhythms or they may having a like ongoing uh, presence of dysarrhythmias, uh, they should be like take precautions and uh, they can start driving by themselves once the complete healing of uh, like uh, this implantable of food they can start and they should uh, just check with their HCPs what would be the things they will be following if they have uh, unusual rhythms or how they can uh, manage themselves and another thing uh, if the state laws regarding the drivers with ICD that they should follow okay only that is the thing so the statement or the options here it says I will look into public transportation because I won't be able to drive again that is a wrong statement and this is not our uh, answer the client there is no restriction they can drive by themselves until the wound healing will be occurred they should be restricted after the wound healing completely occurred with the help with the recommendation of HCP they can drive by themselves so 
What do you think? What's our answer? Yes. Our answer will be option two. That's the answer. I will let my daughter fix my hair until my HCP says I can do it. Why? So that why will help you to answer the question. Uh, because we uh, know that how this defibrillator is placed to the client's body. Actually, it is the lead wire of the uh, implantable cardioverter defibrillator is placed uh, to the endocardium through the subclavian vein. So, if they will use their hand uh, for fixing the hair, there are chances uh, it may dislodge. So, preventing the dislodgement. Uh, the HCP will be giving a recommendation or instruction that uh, they should be taken for a period of time or they should be uh, take the help of somebody to fix their hair and we'll share some idea about this one actually this implantable cardioverter defibrillator it can sense and defibrillate the life-threatening arrhythmias which means like it includes uh, the pacemaker capabilities as like uh, uh, sometimes the client may have uh, bradycardia or tachycardia so this will sense and it will be like uh, override the pacing of rapid heartbeat or rapid the heart rhythms and or back up the pacing if the client has a bradycardia that usually may occur after the defibrillation and uh, the pulse generator is implanted subcutaneously over the pectoral muscles so like when we are receiving a client with a pacemaker we can see uh, that like when we are doing the assessment we can uh, identify that one so some of the post-operative care management and uh, teaching are similar to those with the pacemaker implantation client are instructed to refrain from lifting the affected arm above the shoulder okay they are restricted to lift that affect arm above the shoulder why we already said that to avoid the dislodgement of the the lead wire and that is the instructions everything should be based on the hcp they will be approved and they will be tell how to manage and how you can manage your daily activities and uh, those are the some of the instructions i hope you have an idea about this one it's a very simple question and on, when we are starting to uh, preparing for exam from April month so the the content of the questions will be same everywhere so they will be putting this question in a uh, like a case scenario and only the thing what I understand that so when they are putting this uh, same statement or same uh, scenario in a uh, case study there are chances we may deviate from the content and we will end up with the wrong answer so when you are reading the question it may take longer than the questions what we have now the question will be lengthy so you should take some moment to understand the question what the question is really asking to us or what are the options uh, that may deviate us that is going to happen i think so you should have a thorough knowledge if you have a 50 knowledge what would happen we may think from all the deviating parts we may end up with the wrong answers and some of the wrong options we may think that would be the correct because we don't have a clear idea so i will tell that if you have a clear idea you will end up with the correct option and you know those other options are just to change our mindset so i wish you all the best and i hope all of you will be able to make it Bye bye